Hey, everybody, and welcome to our Radio.com Live Pandemic. And there he is right there, the one and only Tyler Joseph. How are you feeling physically? How's your wife, your baby, and how are you feeling upstairs here? I'm doing well. Look at me. I'm dressed up. I, I got dressed up for you guys. So I'm, uh... This is, uh, you may be the best dressed and the only person who has worn a tie since quarantining begun. So congratulations on another record for 21 Pilots. Thank you. That's what I'm, that's what I'm here for. Uh, we are Stryker and Klein, and um, Tyler, I may need you to help me out here because in our long history of having some very fun chats, your partner has always been part of the session. And now that he is not here for this particular one, I'm feeling a little bit off. I'm feeling like, I don't know if I can do a good job. How are you feeling without your partner not here this second? I'm doing, I'm doing well. Yeah, it is, it is a shame that just simple friendships kind of get put on hold um but we still chat we keep up we're, he's doing great we're doing all right um it's uh it's been interesting but man what a great what a great time to to create and write and so i know i know probably a lot of artists and musicians and just are doing that right now but it is truly a, an awesome moment to uh I mean, there's a reason why I live out in Ohio. You know, the, the, the gloomy weather brings out some great songs. And so what better than a, a gloomy um, world event than to maybe um, create some great art. And um, I'm hoping people are using their time wisely to do that. I, th I, really, I really think that even though this is, you know, a really trying time for everyone, um, some really awesome things will come out of it. I'm, I'm really hopeful for that. You know, we chatted with you most recently. Uh, it was December, and we all got together. We were allowed to be within six feet of each other. Yeah. And it was, I think, before your child was born. And the rumor that I started online immediately was that you were going to replace your partner with uh, your child once they were born. Uh, and now that you are doing an interview, a sans partner, uh, is there any truth to the rumor that I have started on the Internet that you have created the newest 21 pilot? Uh, she has her own little tiny drum kit. Yep. Um, she's starting to take some lessons. And I got to tell you, uh, you know, when, when I'm, when I'm playing the piano and she's playing the drums it, it, for a second, I, I'm not looking over. It just feels like it's Josh over there. And so you <laughs> better look out. Um, they've got the same energy. <laughs> I have many questions about level of concern, but before we do that, you've been pulling back the curtain a tad more on your life. Hmm. Your wife's on there. We see your baby in the video, which is so well done. Has that been an easy thing for you to do? or uh, difficult or is it natural when i when i wrote the song it, i kind of was also writing the treatment for the music video at the same time which that happens a lot actually um and so uh, for some reason when i was seeing it in my head you know my wife and my my daughter were in it um and so the question the, the answer to the question is yes it is difficult because you know, I, I look over at my wife, I'm like, I know that you said that you want to be in the video, but we can't actually get confirmation that our daughter, who's only a couple months old, wants to do this. You know, we're just kind of shoving her in this without, without asking her, what, what about when she, you know, comes of age and has a, has a, you know, a feeling of whether or not she likes her parents and will she hate us for this? And yeah, there's all kinds of questions you, you ask yourself. Um, but man, just the, the time we're living in, it, it, I, I don't want... I, I, I respect a lot of, you know, artists and, and, and I think a lot of artists make a good decision to keep their family out of the limelight. But um, I don't know. I think that I, I'm hoping that if you can manage it and you can you stay ahead of it um, and maintain the importance of just your own, your own house being a private area where you can, you can always be who you want to be. Um, I'm hoping that uh, my daughter won't hate me in the future for putting her in a music video. <laughs> Is there any indication so far whether or not she's a fan of your music? Are there certain songs that make her cry or certain songs that calm her down? I feel like children are brutally honest. Maybe the only place you can get honesty anymore is from a, a child, even a young one. Uh, do you think that she will be a fan or do you think she's uh, you know, more into uh, a country music, let's say? You know, I, this, she, her and her mom have something very similar in common, which they're completely unaffected by my talent. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, which is actually, I like that about them. Um, but I have, I have written a few one handed songs on the piano lately because I'll, I'll hold her, um, my daughter in my lap and I'll just kind of, 
play around with the piano um, with my right hand and she seems to stop squirming and, and listen um, but it only lasts for a few seconds until she's on to her her next fuss so so clearly you've been creating some art um, during this pandemic and while we are all quarantined just the music part of level of concern was that created out of thin air within the last four or five weeks or had you been holding on to that for a while that that was from the ground up created in such a quick rapid pace wow uh, i just i wanted to just kind of keep up with the idea and just follow it and you know it's, it started with my mom made a passing comment like man i really could use an upbeat song right now to distract me from all this and i kind of took that as a as a challenge and you know lyrically i didn't i didn't want to be too on the nose with it so I, I wanted to pair it with a true story where you know when i first met my wife she i was ready to dive into a relationship i was ready to go and she was a little more hesitant and kind of uncertain about me and in general which <laughs> i get um and not to compare a pandemic with the uncertainties of a, of a relationship but in that moment when when um maybe feelings aren't being reciprocated into a, a relationship you really feel is, is important to you in your little world. Um, there's a lot of uncertainties and, uh, and to kind of give it, give the, the, the song another narrative that's not solely based off of um, this thing that we're going through as a world um, was, was kind of my attempt at um, make, you know, give, making the song still have some life after hopefully all this blows over. And the goal of this song was not to make you guys more famous. I don't even know if that's possible. You actually had a very uh, selfless goal in mind, and that was to raise money for all of the people that really support you guys, have helped you grow from the band that was playing in front of three people in an empty gymnasium to stadiums now that are jam-packed. And these are the uh, everyone uh, that makes these concerts happen. Yeah, I mean, Josh and I have been traveling for almost 10 years now, and we've met a lot of great people, not just that tour with us and our crew, but every arena in every city um man those big buildings they're right in the middle of these cities and they're kind of the the nucleus of, of energy to these cities and it, they hire a ton of people they have so much staff and um they're so nice too all over the country and i don't know it was just a moment where we saw that charity go up and i knew some guys from live nation that were doing it and it just made sense to to connect it and um, yeah, not that we were looking for any more fame, but um, it was, uh, it just felt right. Crew Nation is the charity that will help out all these great men and women that help all the bands we love put the show on. And when you see a band playing an arena, they, I mean, I've been very lucky to get backstage because I'm working in my normal life. No one would let me back there, but approximately Tyler for a 21 pilot show. Other than you and Josh, how many, what's the crew number approximately? Well, when we're doing a, uh, our own headline tour in arenas in the States, we will travel with upwards of 75 people. Wow. Um, and that's not including the, the arena staff, which is hundreds. Um, and, and so, you know, it's, it's so many that I don't even get to learn all their names, which is a shame. So I just kind of go, Hey, and point at them. Yeah. Um, but it, the, the way that the, this kind of like the behind the scenes of the music, music industry would work for these people is they, they land a gig and they're hoping that they get to land the next one coming up. There's no, there's no certainty to the gigs that they can land. And so they kind of have to hustle and, and network to get that next gig so that they can continue to fill up their calendar. And when something like this hits, man, it just, it blows their whole plan up. You know, I know guys personally that, that it just applied for a house and we're just about to, you know, just got pregnant and we're about to have their first kid. Um, and then this happens. Um, it, it just, I guess as, as the, the hiring musicians, we could rip the rug out from under them and say, Hey, we got no shows. We got no money. You know, we're, we're pulling out. Um, but it just didn't seem right. It still doesn't seem right. And so I know that Josh and I, we're doing everything we can to keep, keep our people on yeah, um, and, that's awesome. um, and then seeing this charity that's, that's taking care of not just local crews, um, but um, touring crews as well. And that's, it just felt right. And on the plus side, these guys used to light a car on fire every single night. So they were, they were just burning through cars. Now they've yeah. stopped doing that. So uh, <laughs> the auto industry is already making a boom just from them not being on the road right now. It's great. We got, we got 30 of these Cadillacs just sitting there <laughs> waiting to get blown up. 
All right, I got some musical questions for you, Tyler Joseph. Do you see a majority of 21 Pilot songs that you may make right now during the quarantine leaning towards a disco-y, funky, like Daft Punk-esque vibe? Of course, in the history of 21 Pilots, there's some of those songs, but do you see more of those? That's, that's not necessarily the goal. I think that this song in particular, with all of its circumstances, it also had me learning how to play the guitar for the first time. Um, and it just felt right to go to that Nile Rodgers, you know, funky lick. And I don't know, I think maybe it's because I've been playing the bass and the strumming patterns of some of the ukuleles that I've played in the past just lent itself to, to having a little more funk to it. Um, it just, it, it felt, it was really exciting for me to learn how to play guitar, play those chords, um, write a song. And it just started to feel, it started to feel disco. -y. You know, I didn't have the word disco in mind as I was writing it. You know, it wasn't until I was talking to Josh that we're, that, that word even came up. Um, so no, I don't think that we have that, you know, in mind as we're creating more music at all. Uh, in fact, I, I wouldn't mind, um, kind of offsetting that song with a, with a more of, of what we're, we're used to. I, I don't know. I, I it's hard to, I like to give the song its own life. And so whatever the song wants to do, I let it do. Mm. And I guess that's my own way of, of not taking blame if the song sucks, um, but also following whatever comes natural. Like I start playing these chords and then all of a sudden that snare drum, it's super dry and it, and it decays really fast. And wouldn't that feel great with, with this tempo and then it just starts to build. And so a question like that, am I trying to write certain type of music? And it's just, it's not where, it's not really where my head's at. And we've, we've talked about that actually, right? Uh, probably the first time we ever had a conversation. I remember that so vividly. Listen, we got about three or four minutes and I've got four quick things I want to get to. This year marks radio's 100th anniversary. What has been the impact of radio for 21 Pilots? I mean, man, the, um, I, I don't, I mean, we, I wouldn't be where I am without radio, without the, without the platform. I think there's such a, uh, it's such a, it's such a great litmus test of, of each city that these stations are, are planted in. Um, even the nationally syndicated ones where it's real time. If someone likes the song, they, the, these stations know that. And so it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a medium where um, even though it feels like, you know, it's run by, you know, big wigs, guys in suits, it's just not the case. Having, having kind of gone through that circuit, it, it's a, it's, it's still very organic and it, and it reacts to the people who listen to that music. And um, for that, to have that, uh, that, that vessel to, to release music and to have people hear it is, has been um, extremely important for us. I'm going to name two songs at a time. You just have to choose one. And this is kind of a lightning round. Are you ready? And I'm not saying it's the best song, your favorite song to play. It's just House of Gold, Car Radio. Car Radio. Fairly local, Heavy Dirty Soul. Heavy Dirty Soul. My Blood, Jumpsuit. <sighs> Don't do that. <laughs> um... I'm gonna have to go with my blood for me. And the last one, Stryker or Klein? Uh, keep in mind, I come with this adorable dog. Oh, Klein. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Well done. That is correct. Tyler Joseph, 21 Pilots, Level of Concern is the song. There's also hoodies available to help benefit the charity Crew Nation. Thank you for the relationship over the years and the effort you put in at the live shows and creating the art is so appreciated and thanks for everything you do man guys thanks so much for having me uh, i really appreciate it and you know striker you're the first one that, that, that put us on so I, I i owe you something like a few dollars or something you don't owe me anything you guys did the work all i had to do was say i freaking love this song and i'm putting it on the radio i did nothing except use this finger and press play so thank you stay safe the best to your wife and your daughter and hopefully we get through this and see you at a show all right man i'll see you guys okay. there See you later. Bye. Peace.